The first thing that, that I'm going to talk about, however, is I just want to show everybody this timeline. The performance program is not just a new feature. In fact, it's not really, there's a few new features in it, but it's not a new thing. It's the combination of everything we and I have been doing for the past several years. This is a roadmap of Virtual Solar Club that I created. I found the uh, the file and I found the, the, the create date. July 27th, 2022 at 3.20 a.m. That's about right. I usually work around that time. <laughs> um, this is a, a roadmap that we created. Uh, this has not changed. This is current, This roadmap is currently in the Virtual Solar Club training portal. If you go to the left-hand menu, all Virtual Solar Club members, and look for roadmap under the community's info section. This has not changed. This was before we even launched an Evo. We launched an Evo uh, January 7th, 2023. Right? So this is two years ago. I want, I want to point out some really key things here. Number one is we have followed this to a fucking T. What we said we were going to do, we did. We started with the community. We had, we had the virtual solar club community before we had the training, the courses, right? We went to training. We built our infrastructure. We launched an Evo over a year and a half ago or about a year, coming up on a year and a half ago. We've launched Solar Villa Boot Camps. We have the third Solar Villa coming up um, in uh, October. Um, not, not announcing the launch dates and opening registrations for that just yet, but uh, we have the number three coming up in October. Uh, decentralization, that's what I'm all about. Independence and uh, being an individual and decentralized remote solar pro doing whatever the hell you want. Notice one thing. Notice the leads are at the very end in phase three. There's also another one in that they're going to be talking about today. Why are the leads at the very end? If you've been in solar over the past two years, your Facebook inbox would remind you that everyone tries to get into the lead game. Marketers from other agencies, randoms who have never run a lead, an ad in their life. Over the past two years, we've been getting slaughtered with it. Because it's not difficult to run ads, it's difficult to do them well. And it's difficult to manage them well. And it's difficult to have a fully integrated system in which you actually care about the ads that you're running and the leads that you're generating. For those that don't know, I've been in solar for 11 years. I started running solar ads on Facebook in 2016, 17-ish. In, uh, in solar terminology, dinosaur. I had the largest solar ad uh, Facebook ad budget in all of Australia for about a year before anyone else picked up on all the billion dollar companies. I've run an ad or two. My personal ad account on Facebook alone has several million dollars, not clients ad accounts, my personal ad account. A vast majority of that being for solar. What I'm trying to say is running ads and digital marketing is not new for me and my team. In fact, um, uh, my primary media buyer on my team I've been working with him since 2018. Same guy that's going to be working, uh, I'm putting as a head of our media buying and our digital marketing uh, and management for a performance program. Six years. We've been doing this for a while. So Josh, why didn't we start right away? Why didn't we start a lead program? That's where the money is, Josh. That's where the sales are, Josh. There's two ways to do things. You do it quick, you do it dirty, or you do it properly. I have built blood, sweat, and tears bootstrapped like fuck infrastructure and training uh, platform for the past three, three and a half years, whenever VSC was founded, I think 2020. Now that the pieces are in play, now I am willing to say, okay, the people need the leads, the homeowners need the solar, they need really good messaging, enough of this zero upfront, zero dollars down, get your free quote, get your Tesla battery, BS. We are going to show both homeowners and sales reps what real digital marketing looks like now that we have the systems in play. That was the game plan all along. The roadmap is right there. I have not, oh, right there. I have not changed my tune on it. Now we are ready to take over and anyone that's involved with our programs is going to benefit such. So that's our roadmap. You'll also notice solar stations is the second one on phase three. And we'll also be talking about solar stations today. But I just wanted to give that pretext because I'm not going to be bottled in 
to all of these people who randomly start selling leads, even though they've never closed a solar deal in their life. I was there at the beginning of the dawn of the age of running solar ads on social media platforms. We are now bringing that back into the systems that we've made. We are not using a marketing agency. I'm not hiring random so I don't know to run ads. Everything we're doing is in-house. I personally have created 30 creatives and ads and copies for this uh, month's performance program personally on my computer with my camera with all of our uh, creative tools over the past week. We are at the front helm of this. And also one more thing, I don't want to beat a dead horse, but a key difference. So, you know, I was at SolarCon the other day and um, you know how many lead providers came up to me and tried to sell me leads for our members? right? A uh, dozen. Every single time, and I show, takes data from the top to the bottom and knows every single metric that I mentioned and automatically puts it back up to the top of the funnel so you can optimize those, uh, those ad campaigns and that messaging and, and targeting and everything that you're doing. That's what real digital marketing looks like in every other industry. And that's what we're doing here because Cinevo is a true vertically integrated system all the way from lead management, so all those technical people out there, we take S1, S2, S3 values, <clears throat> which generally would mean like campaign types, targeting types, and creative types. They're descriptions pretty much of like what creative, what what copy, what, what text you're using. All the way, we know every single sale and their price per watts, their sales, their installation rates, their cancellation rates, the values of those installs, and we pop it back here to see what works and what doesn't work. Full vision. That's why I built Cinevo as a fully integrated system as opposed to just cutting it off as a CRM, which would have been a hell of a lot easier, by the way. <laughs> That's the vision here, to really bring digital marketing into the solar industry and energy efficiency industry that it's never been done before. And uh, yeah, well, there's the rest of my rant. Let's get into some details, shall we? Okay.